Now we will see how to create a new calculated field. So for creating a new calculated field, go to the stop option. Here you see the downwards arrow. You would have to click here and select create calculated field. The calculated fields are derived variables which are not part of the original data set, but we want to use them uh, as part of the analysis. For example, in our dashboard, if we want something like the return rate, we need a derived field. It is not part of the existing data set. So for that, first we need to create a new field called, let's say, return sales. We can assign a particular function like this one. So this is a conditional function. Basically, based on a condition, a certain value will be assigned. For example, if we want to give the label of profit or loss, we can give a condition of profit greater than zero. If this condition is true, it will give profit. And if the condition is false, it will give the label of loss. So in this case, we will insert this particular function. We will then use, let's say this particular field, which tells whether an order has been returned or not. So it's a yes or no field. So we will just use return equal to equal to yes. If this is true, only then we will consider the sales values. And if it is false, the return sales will be actually zero. Now, if everything is all right, it should tell that the calculation is valid. We can apply and say OK. So if this is correct, we will have a new variable called return sales. Now, in order to use this particular variable, we can, let's say, first move names over here, names of each sales representative and move this return sales over here. Now we can clearly see the amount of return sales for each of the representative. In order to calculate return rate, we actually need to divide the return sales by the total amount of sales. So for that, we can just select this particular variable here, click this downward arrow, select edit in shelf, so here we have the expression for calculating the overall return sale. We can just divide by the total sum of sales and just press enter. Actually, there is an issue. The return rate Here we need to have a bracket first of all and if we need the rate as a percentage we can actually give 100 into and assign the brackets properly yeah now it should work okay now we can clearly see the return rates for each sales representative so for surely the return rate is actually highest with 18.1 percentage that's how we can create a new calculated field in Tableau. And this calculated field can be used for making any kind of graph, which we can later use in the dashboard.